I have to admit, I'm a bit of a sucker for old stuff, or at least when new stuff looks back on its DNA and acknowledges its past. Kind of like the Mustangs, Camaros, and Challengers that take their design cues from back in the pony car days. Another thing I really like is when modern brands take an iconic name from their past and badge a new model with it. Kind of like Articats El Tigre. For model year 2018, the El Tigre name is not new. It's been boogieing up and down the trails for a couple of years now, but it has solidified itself as a model that can live up to its namesake. Trying to inject life into something with an iconic name can be a risky move, because what if that something sucks? If it does, you run the risk of ruining the reputation of that name. Now, I don't think you needed to be an Articat faithful to wonder whether or not Articat was making the right move bringing back the El Tigre name. But at this point, I don't think anybody's thinking that this name isn't exactly where it should be. The El Tigre is built on the Procross chassis and steps up the ZR's list of standard features with extras that specifically target the high-end trail rider and the accessories that they want. That list starts with an 11-inch windshield, rear tunnel bag for extra storage, and a complement of Fox QS3 shocks. Plus for me, the whole package is rooted in the 70s retro decals that make this ride's exclusivity stand out in a crowd. Now for the bad part. The El Tigre is a spring special order package only, so don't expect to sashay down to your local cat dealer to bring one of these buggies home on a whim. Which is fine with me, because if Articat blasted Tiggers out of the factory like Chicklets, well that would ruin the name as well. Thankfully, Cat has been faithful to the lineage of the El Tigre with all the moves they've been making with this model's accessories and graphics. But even that goodness wouldn't be worth its name if the sled wasn't one you could live with on the trails. Good thing, everyone here at the OSM and STV Digs agrees that the El Tigre is a buggy built for the ride. It starts with a SeaTac 2 mil under the bonnet. It's got that great Articat growl. While not super flicky, the 794 and her 8000 series sled has got great low end grind out of the hole and pulls like a turbine right up to the big end. Now we'd like to see a little bit more impatience out of the engine as it builds its RPM, but at the end of the day, this package is predictable on the trail and will still pull at your arms out of the corners. It's also built to reach better fuel and oil consumption targets, which helps in the day-to-day -day running of this sled. The suspension is also one of the best in the industry at soaking up the trail with the race-inspired front suspension and proven slide-action rear skid. Here the El Tigre packet features the Fox QS3 shocks, but on the front arm of the rear skid is a non-adjustable Articat 1.5-inch IFP shock, while the rear arm gets the three-position QS3. Out front, the QS3s again have that easy-to-adjust three-clicker system to further fine-tune the ride quality of the Procross chassis. Ergos on the chassis feature a good wide seat that you can stretch out on and then transition to a more up on the tank position, which is when this chassis really starts to perform. Another detail, while not new for this year, is a redesigned grip that's just a bit smaller to help with your hold on the bars. Plus, this small detail helps when you get on the binders with the Snowcross style brake lever. The El Tigre is now deep into its return into the mainstream snowmobile market. It has had and it does live up to its namesake. Now, I suppose Cat could have just added a bunch of alphabet soup letters and numbers to the ZR name this sled is built from, but somehow, I just don't think this machine would have been the same without the heritage of the El Tigre name.